guys. I was asked to uh, do a video with the P2 and uh, acrylic. And as you can see, here's my precious. I'm so happy with this thing. It's awesome. So let's get started. Um, I uploaded, uh, let's get this big screen. Um, the SVG file that I want to make and in this case I'm gonna make a, a wind catcher so I'm gonna adjust it's hard to see because I'm using the iridescent acrylic and it's hard to see if I'm in the middle or not but it looks like I am and here you can see it's really pretty because it reflects a lot and shows a lot of colors so I put that on the slats I removed a couple of slats so in case there will be lines or whatever uh, reflecting so this is the inside of the P2 but you guys already seen that I am assume all right close that up let's get back to the software uh, p2 software and I'm gonna put this on cut and let's see laser flat uh, I'm gonna use the precise measure and click it on the material basically and it's measuring and it failed uh, because it's kind of see-through so it can't measure it so I'm gonna get a piece of paper and lay it on the material so that it at least can measure the thickness so we'll try that again. Oh, I should ref should have refreshed the page first. What? Let's see if this works. Well, it worked. Because here you don't see the paper on the on the screen, but I can still refresh it. Let's click refresh, and there's the paper. And let's do the measurement again. Click on that. And then it's measuring. And it says it's 2.6 thickness. I'll go with that. Take the paper off. Close the lid and refresh the patient again because we don't want the paper on there. Okay, so it looks like it's, I don't know, it's hard to see with that see through. I'm just gonna assume this is about, oh uh, wait, I can see the edge here. So I know how far out I can go. See here, a little up maybe, a little more. Oh. Oh, not too big. Fit. There we go. All right. So we got that done. Then let's see. Power. Power. I think I did 40 power. With the other acrylic and then I'll do HP I don't know if it's the right setting because I'm still playing with the settings maybe 10 should be enough but I just want to make sure it will cut in one pass so all right one pass well everything looks good and I guess we can go click process 
and then we have the click process again. There we go. And you hear the beep. It's ready to start. But before I start it, I need to turn the yep this thing air purifier on. But it's gonna take make a lot of noise, so it is what it is. Here we go. Okay, that thing is on. Yeah, it does make some noise, but you get used to it. All right. Then I'm gonna push the button. Here we go. See how well that goes. Here we are a part of the way and it looks like it's cutting through. So that's pretty awesome. Still has a bit to go, so I'll come back when we're further along. Getting there. I love the plopping sound when the acrylic falls down. That means it's, the settings are good and it's cutting right through. So it's hard to take a picture or video from, uh, I mean, through the screen. Oh, did you see that? That was cool. Should be almost finished. All right, we're back. And it looks like we're almost finished. I think it's doing the last couple of cuts. Not sure. Oh, it's doing the outside cut now, I think. Yeah. It's finished. Let's see how that looks. Well, it sure cut through. I can just remove this outer piece. Put that aside. And it looks like all the pieces fell out already. That's pretty cool. do is hang it outside and let it spin. And there it is guys, the wind catcher. There's not a lot of wind, but it will spin. And look at the colors, it's really cool. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.